Hey everyone, in today's video, I've prepared a couple of workflows in Comfy UI to transform your own photos into Studio Ghibli style without using ChatGPT. The first workflow uses a division model trained on the Flux Def model. It utilizes this trained Flux model with the Apply Pulet node to preserve the original face and uses an inside face to maintain the original facial feature. This workflow also incorporates the Florence model to enhance the prompt when creating the final image with the trained model. The second workflow also creates a slightly different style of Studio Ghibli image. It uses the Studio Ghibli ChatGPT V1 LoRa model on top of the Flux Scuff model to generate the image. The LoRa is trained with images generated by ChatGPT outputs, so it matches more closely to the Studio Ghibli image generated by ChatGPT. I'll guide you through each workflow individually to show how the images are generated and compare them for the best results. Both workflow uses Flux model, but there's a difference in VRAM usage. The first workflow probably uses a little bit more VRAM because it's trained on top of Flux Def model, and the second workflow uses a GUF model, so the VRAM requirements might be a little bit lower. Both of these workflows have original author as well, so you can go check them out in the original website below. I put both of the workflows in the GitHub folder so you can access them there as well. Let's load up the first workflow. To set up this workflow, we need to download the appropriate models. You can download the trained Flux Def model from the Civit AI page here. I'll leave this in the link in the description below. You also need these two LoRa models to use with the Division model, the Flux 1 Depth Dev LoRa model and the Flux 1 Turbo Alpha model. The Depth LoRa model allows the Division model to follow the outline of an original image, ensuring your result will maintain the structure of your input image. The Turbo Alpha model will enhance the processing speed by reducing the steps required for the image generation. You want to put both of these models in the model slash LoRa folder. The last model you need is the Flux Redux model, which preserves the style of the original image while allowing for a slightly variations based on the prompt. You want to put this model in the style folder. I've provided all the download links on my free Patreon page where you can find comprehensive guides there. The workflow consists of several steps. First, in the input section, you upload any photo you want to convert to Ghibli style. This image is then processed by the Florence 2 Flux large model, which creates a detailed caption of the image. This model will be downloaded on the first run of the workflow. We enhance this caption with the Ghibli style keyword to guide the model toward the desired artistic style. Next, we use the Applied Pulet node to preserve the original faces from the input image. It helps the model generate character consistent with the input. The Applied Pulet node's output is then fed into the case sampler for final image generation. Let's test this workflow with different types of images. I'll also bypass certain steps to demonstrate how each section affects the final result. I'm going to run this workflow again with the image of Elon Musk and here is the generated outcome. This is generated with the entire workflow. I'm going to try toggling off the applied pilot workflow to see what difference the node makes. You can see that it took about 41 seconds to generate the first image, but only about 30 seconds to generate the second image. So bypassing this group node does make it faster, but the resulting image doesn't maintain as much resemblance to the original as when we use the applied pilot node. We can also try bypassing this Flux Redux style model to see what effect it has. These are the two different results of the image. You might not notice a significant difference with a single portrait, but the effect becomes much more pronounced when using group photos as input. The Flux Redux style model does an excellent job maintaining consistent character appearances and it follows the original style of the input image, especially when there are multiple people in the image. The next workflow we have here is GPT 4.0 Ghibli stylization. This one uses a LoRa model trained on images generated by ChatGPT, so it should produce results closer to the ChatGPT's output style. The resulting output is a bit more cartoonish and anime-like than the previous workflow, but it has a unique anime style that makes the output a little bit more distinct. The workflow is a little bit more simple to set up. You just need to place the GUF model and the Studio Ghibli LoRa model. You also need the Flux Redux model, so you need to place this model inside the style folder. 
The Golf model should go inside the UNET folder and the Studio Ghibli GPT LoRa model should go inside the LoRa folder. I'm going to be generating the output image to compare this to the first workflow. I'm going to use Steve Jobs' uh, photo and here's the generation for it. I would say the first workflow resembles the facial feature a little bit more accurately. I think this is because we're using the Pulet node in the first workflow and we're not using that for the second workflow. The LoRa adds a little bit more anime style characteristic to the output image. The couple photo also works extremely well. I find the second workflow does a better job adhering to the original image for character clothes and facial features. And it works really well for a multi-group picture as well. I hope you found these workflows helpful for creating a Ghibli style photos without using ChatGPT. If you run into any issues, you can join my Discord channel to ask any questions as our community is growing there.